In the film, we see the balloon dogs chasing down people. What would happen if they catch them? We would have explored that. Oh yeah, well, like, first of all, they're sort of humping your leg. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the obvious gag, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> And I would think they'd start to pop. Uh, you don't want them to pop on you. Yeah. But I, I can imagine they, they might be able to kind of transform and change into different things and grow and inflate yeah. and then shrink so that it's a more of an amorphous type being, not always locked to its form. Well, yeah, the, the thing is, those are the balloon dogs. You know, we can explore what the balloon dogs do to you. And then you got to think, what other things do they make? Balloon yeah, elephants, mean. balloon snakes. This is this is how we wrote this. This yeah. is how we wrote Killer Clown. No, exactly. An idea like that, and bang, bang, bang. <laughs> to be included at that level yeah. of the creation of a game, I, I was we kind of honored, really. I mean, you say you, you're honored by working with us. We're honored working with you guys. We can't define what that Kyoto Brothers mix is, that balance of horror, comedy, and sci-fi. I can't define it, but it just is something we do naturally. You guys jumped on board. You, you honored what we did, but I think you, at your core, you, you understood what it was. Our, our role has really been just kind of keeping you on the path and the path being like it's it's all out, it's all over the place when it comes to the possibilities yeah. of clowns but again holding true to that you know is a is it a clown esque is it funny yeah. um you know it's not just violence for violence sake i guess the basic premise of a clown kill is that the first reaction when something happens audience, the, the players, will laugh. That's really funny. And then there's this, like, this moment of recognizing uh, what ha actually happened there, that it's lethal, that person is dead. Um, but it's still funny. So yeah, so for us to have this opportunity, again, Good Shepherd, Terrorvision, just killing it. It's really gratifying to, to see it. You know, something that we created just by just sitting around ta talking has been taken to that level. With people that understand it, not, not only uh, visually, but comedically and, you know, from an action point of view, it's been really great. We had been uh, in California now for maybe six years, and we had worked with the effects industry, various places, Fantasy II, Film Effects, uh, and various model shops. So we knew we had a contingency of, of craftspeople who work in the industry, and they just loved the idea, and they really supported us. So often, you just go for the joke. And on the page, you have five, six, seven jokes on a page. The idea was to play it straight. The comedy comes from the contrast between the sincerity of the drama and the absurdity of the kills and, and, and the, uh, the nemesis. Again, but until, like in today, today's audiences, there's a there's a veneer of reality that that permeates everything. I think kind of embrace the absurdity of it, have fun with it. You know, go. It's a movie. It's a uh, you know a suspension of disbelief. Just lean into that. And just go with the concept to see what the filmmakers are, are giving you. Don't analyze it and put it into a a context of a reality that doesn't you know, doesn't necessarily have to exist. I hope they thoroughly enjoy the game you guys have created. Thank God that there's, there's something now that, that we can say, hey, it's coming, finally. We, you know, we were part of something. It's been a long time coming, but, you know, it's here. Killer, Killer clowns, clowns from outer space. space. Holy, Holy sh